do you want to use your eyes as your computer mouse now we are going to see the output of this project now let's start the project we are going to do this project in visual studio code if you have not installed visual studio code install python and install visual studio code and configure visual studio code for python we are going to create a new file right click this and create a new file icontrolmouse.py we are going to import three libraries for our project the first one is opencv cv2 and we import media pipe and py auto gui these are the three libraries we are going to use in this project if you have not installed these libraries please install it by going to terminal and select new terminal and here to install this cv2 type pip install opencv python i have already installed this library so it is showing the message like this like this we can install remaining two libraries pip install media pipe py auto gui so we need to install these three libraries first we are going to capture the camera cv2 dot video capture so I am giving 0, I have only one camera, if you have more than one camera, you can enter the particular number 0, 1, 2 like that, while true, if the camera is captured successfully, we can save the image, cam.read, so the cam.read function will give the image, it will give another variable, we don't want that, that is why I have given underscore comma image, the image is our captured image from the video capture. Now we need to show the video for that, cv2 dot im show, give the title, comma, the image. It will show the image and we need to wait for some time. For that, I am using cv2.wait key function. I am pausing 100 milliseconds. It will wait for 100 milliseconds and then it will again run this while loop. So, it will capture one image and I am show. Again, it will wait for 100 milliseconds. Like this, it will be continuously capturing and showing the image. So, we will see like it is a movie. If you want to close the window, then we need to save the key. In a variable I am saving the key in the variable called key if key is equal to 27 if we have pressed 27 that is escape key then it should break after breaking we need to release the camera and we need to close all the windows cv2 dot destroy all windows if we run this code, we can get the video capture, file, save and run the project. Now we can see the video capture, press escape to close this window. We are going to draw the landmarks in our face. Now we are going to create a variable called faceness landmarks. Faceness landmarks equal to media pipe dot dot faceness of refine underscore landmarks is equal to true so we have created the variable called faceness landmarks 
Now we are going to use this variable to capture the landmarks in our face. The image we have captured is BGR format. Now we need to convert this image to RGB format because we can use RGB format for this face mask landmarks. RGB underscore image. So we are convert, creating a new variable called RGB image is equal to cv2 dot cvt color of the image i am going to pass this variable after this comma cv2 dot color underscore pgr to rgb we have converted this image to rgb image we are going to use this rgb image to get the landmark points in the image if there are multiple faces we can get all the landmarks we are going to process this image to identify landmarks processed image is equal to face mist dot of rgb image using this processed image we are going to capture all the faces in the image all face landmarks is equal to processed image dot multi face landmarks we are getting all the faces from the processed image and we have stored all the faces in this variable if landmark points are captured print all face landmark points file save run this now we can see that output it is showing the xyz of all the landmarks of the faces let's escape from this all face landmark points we are going to get the current face we are showing only one face but it will give all the landmark all the faces landmark points from this we need to get the first face but we, because we are showing only our face if all face landmark that means if there is face then only we will get the landmarks of the single face one face landmark points equal to all face landmark points of zero so we are getting the first face dot landmark so we have captured the landmarks for the one face we are going to print all the landmarks in the captured image for landmark points in one face landmark points then we are going to print the values print landmark point dot x comma landmark point dot y file save now we can see the landmark points are displayed here but we want to display the landmark points in the face we can see that these points are below 1 0 0.45 uh, 0.454 like this so we need to convert these all points to the window screen resolution for that i am going to create a variable called x which is equal to landmark point dot x into window width window width but this is uh, this we are going to cap get now and y is equal to landmark point dot y into window height so we are going to get this window width and height after getting the image window height comma window width so these two variables and uh, window depth is equal to image dot shape 
so from this image we are getting its width height and depth so if we don't want to use i am going to give underscore if we don't want to get it we can use underscore now we have calculated the x and y now we are going to print this x and y save the program and run the program we have uh, values of x and y now we are we need to print the x and y here instead of landmark x and y so delete this line and print x comma y save this and run this so we are getting the values so we need to remove this print that is why we are getting all the print so we need to print only one faces values so we can see that the values are above uh, 300 200 and all so we can uh, we all the values are in the floating points we need to remove all the floating points for that i am going to use the int function to convert this as a floating number integer file save and run it now we can see the integer numbers here press escape we have captured our landmark points and now we need to instead of printing these values we need to show uh, points in the captured image in the video for that i am going to use the cv2.circle function in this circle function first we need to place uh, provide the image center point x comma y and radius i am going to give 3 and we need to provide the color i am going to draw using the red color so the cv2 is pgr format blue green and red format so 0 comma 0 comma 255 save this and run this now we can see the face with the landmark points we are going to identify the only the points in our eye for that one face landmark of we are going to capture only 474 colon 478 so now we can see only the five points so we can see the only the points in the mode i but uh, i have i want to show the points of left eye but it is showing in the right eye we need to change the image uh, i am showing my right hand but uh, in this uh, window it is looking that uh, it is showing the left hand so we need to flip the image after capturing the image image equal to cv2.flip of the image comma vertical flip for that we need to pass 1 if it is horizontal then we need to pass 0 for vertical flip we need to pass 1 file save run this Now I am showing my right hand, it is uh, showing the right side like this, press escape. We are going to draw the landmark in the other eye also. So the left eye landmarks, we are going to create a variable. Left eye is equal to, so here we are going to pass two landmarks for left eye. We are going to create a list here. We need to pass the left eye upper point, it is 145, and the left eye lower point, one fifty-nine. So we have uh, created 
two points for the left eye and now we are going to draw these points also so we are going to use this previous one copy this and paste it here so call look here in left eye so we are going to capture x and y for the left eye and we are going to draw circle in some other color so 255 again so we will draw so save the program and run it now we can see four points in the right eye and the two points in the left eye we are going to move the mouse to the position before that we are going to find the distance between these two uh, points if the eye is close to that uh, means uh, we are going to click the mouse we need to move the mouse when we move the eye so if this right eye is moving we need to move the mouse to the uh, whole window wherever the eye is moving if eye is moving like this we should move the mouse to this uh, corner and if eye is moving like this we should move the mouse to this window corner like this we can use uh, this right eye to move the mouse and after that we move the mouse and place it in a particular position and uh, close the left eye like this to click on the position so for that we need to find if the left eye is opened or closed for that we are going to identify the distance between these two points if this distance is very low that means the eye, eye is closed if the distance is very high that means the eye is open we are going to use uh, the distance to identify whether the eye is open or closed. If the eye is closed, then we need to click in the position where the right eye is placed the mouse. So we are going to find the distance between the points in the left eye. If left eye of zero, that is the top point, dot y, we are getting only the y and minus left eye of the bottom point that is one dot y find the distance by using the y axis if it is less than 0 0.01 so it's very less then we need to click the mouse to click we are going to use pi auto gy dot click so the mouse will be automatically clicked in the particular position and we need to wait the mouse for 2 seconds pi auto gy dot sleep for 2 seconds so after clicking it will wait for uh, 2 seconds and we can uh, print the message mouse clicked so now we are going to see the output save the program so run this program So the left eye is open now, the yellow color. I click close this left eye. So we can see the mouse click the point. We need to stop printing the values, then we can see clearly. Press escape. Uh, close this. Comment this line, print X and Y. So we just only print the mouse click the message. File save. Run. Now we, we don't see any message here. Now I am just going to close my left eye. So we can see that uh, the mouse clicked. But uh, we need to move, move the mouse to the position with the right eye. Press escape. We need to move the mouse where the right eye is moving instead of printing this x and y we need to move the mouse for doing that we want the landmark points and the id of the points for that i am going to create one more variable called id comma landmark points in enumerate of this so we are getting the id and the landmark points so we are using the landmark point to get x and y id for the particular point here if 
id is equal to 1 that means if there is uh, the id is available that means if there is a face captured and uh, there is i uh, is there in the face and uh, if the id is 1 that means we need to find the mouse position but uh, the mouse position we our i will be moving only inside the captured window our eye can move only inside the window so we need to convert this uh, movement to the full screen for that i am going to create a variable called uh, mouse x which is equal to i am going to get the whole screen width i am going to create a variable screen width r w comma screen height equal to pi auto gui dot size so we can get the screen width and the height using the pi auto gui dot size function here we are going to convert the screen width to the window width screen width by window width star the x and also we need to convert this to integer because we are dividing values like this we need to get the mouse y position copy this and paste this here mouse y is equal to screen width screen height by window height into y so we need to move the mouse to this position pi auto gy dot move to mouse x comma mouse y now our mouse will move to according to our eye uh, movement but our eye movement will be uh, inside the window that is uh, cv2 window but when we move the eye little bit, the eye movement will be converted to screen width and we can move the mouse to the whole screen wherever we want. Now save the program and run it. Now I am moving the eye but at the same time our mouse is also moving. Like this, we can go to uh, now. I am going to the going to the screen, programming screen, and uh, uh, close the left eye. So the window is uh, clicking there, and uh, the window is hidden. Like this, we can easily uh, process the mouse through the eye control. Press escape. So now the I can move the mouse. So try this program yourself. It is just 40 lines of code. So it is just 40 lines of code. Try this program yourself. And uh, if you have any doubts in this program, you can ask in the comment box. I am very happy to reply in the comment box. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please press the like button. And if you think this video will be useful for your friends, please share this video for your friends. I will be posting more videos like this. If you want all notifications immediately, please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notification of new video immediately. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.